Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be crocheting for 24 hours. So if you guys do want to see more craft, crochet, or business videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And with that, I'm going to get into some of the rules that I'm setting for myself for this challenge and then we will get started. So yes, I am crocheting for 24 hours, which yes, I think I am crazy. <laughs> so some of the rules that I'm setting for myself, first off, I will allow myself food, water, and bathroom breaks are the only things that I'll really be taking more than like two minutes to do. Other things that I may have to do is like get up and walk around so my legs don't go numb, do some like hand stretches so my fingers don't go numb. Um, if I decide to switch locations from like the living room to my bedroom to the desk, back and forth, I may have to take a couple minutes to readjust the camera for the video and everything. But other than that, it is going to be crocheting for 24 hours straight. Currently it is 11.07, which I don't think you can see that on my phone, but I promise it's 11.07 p.m. So I'm starting this challenge really late at night in theory to fix my sleep schedule. So when I'm done with this tomorrow, I can go straight to bed. So that is pretty much the plan. Right now I have a couple of things that I wanna to do to get ready for this and then we will get started. So I'm planning on starting around like 11.30. So first off, I need to go eat so I don't have to eat super quick after we start the challenge. I also wanna grab a couple snacks to bring in my room so I can just eat in here for part of the time. I'm also gonna fill up my water. So also, one more disclaimer before we get started with this video. I'm just gonna say that the lighting may not be perfect because I'm not in my normal filming space, obviously. Same with like any vlog style video that I do. The lighting may not be great and I apologize in advance for that. But anyways, I'm gonna go eat and get some stuff set up for this video and then we will get started. Also just need to say, I will be very sleep deprived by the end of this because I have been up since like 9 a.m. this morning. I did take like a 15 minute nap. But other than that, I've been up since like 9 a.m. this morning. And my main plan is to update you guys every hour. So if I start at 11.30 like I'm planning, then I'll update you at 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, all the way back until 11.30 again for the 24 hours. But now that I've rambled for so long, let me go get some food and then we will start this challenge. Okay, so we're now in my living room and I've warmed up some food. So I'm gonna eat chicken and yellow rice with my Capri Sun and water. But that's what I'm gonna do for now. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna write a list of some crochet projects that I think I may want to work on while we're doing this video. Oh, I did also wanna mention, I forgot to mention earlier, that a lot of my yarn and crocheting stuff is not very organized. So that may also be a little bit of a problem for like crocheting for 24 hours straight is the fact that it's not organized so it may take me a while to find new yarn or something that I need for a project as I'm working but I'm not gonna count that as like not crocheting because it's still working on a project if I'm looking for something for the project I think at least but anyway all of that doesn't really matter I just want to put disclaimers in here that way you guys know what type of rules I'm setting for myself. But anyway, I need to eat before my food gets cold. So I will talk to you guys in just a couple minutes. Okay, so I finished eating my dinner, which yes, dinner at like 11.30 that was. But anyway, I grabbed some snacks. I'm about to put these in my room. So I am going to start by working out here. So I was gonna sit on the couch, but I'll show you my dilemma. A very cute girl is sitting on the couch, huh? So I'm instead going to sit over here with a blanket and we're going to get started on the first project. So I'm currently working on a pattern for this crochet top. 
so i'm almost done with it actually i only have the left side left to complete so this is like this is hard to do one-handed but this is like the bottom and then you know the right sides would be like this so i have this side to do which i've already started not very far into it yet but i have already started so i'm going to work on that until i finish it so i will be updating you guys every hour so right now it is 11:38. so yes right now it is 11:38, and we are starting the 24 hours i'm gonna actually put the 24 hours as 11:40 is what we'll consider it and i'm gonna get started so yeah i'll do a little montage probably in between and then i'll update you guys every time it's been an hour or i have finished a project and i'm starting a new one okay so i am crocheting but i did just want to say as i am so first off this pattern will not be out by the time you're watching this but it will be hopefully soon so make sure you guys follow me on instagram to see when it is released and also i will link the yarn and crochet patterns if there is a crochet pattern for each idea that i'm making i will link all of that in the description box in the order that i am working on these projects oh i keep forgetting things that i want to say this is going to be a chaotic video if you haven't already been able to tell but whenever i'm making this or if i decide to make any other clothing items i'm going to include the time of me trying stuff on as actually crocheting time as well because you know when you're making something trying it on to make sure it's fitting correctly is a part of it at least for me it is because i can never make anything without trying it on first or as i'm doing it because i don't like for it to not fit after i've made the whole entire thing and if i'm looking at my phone it's because i have the pattern written out on here so yeah So it is now 12.02. Oh look, you can see my other cat. <laughs> That's Shadow. But anyway, um, I've messed up so many times on this already. I've already had to rip it out once. I'm gonna have to rip out again, probably to like here or so, because I just keep thinking I know what I'm doing and I remember what I did and I don't remember. So, yeah fun stuff but if it seems like i haven't had much progress this is why but anyway i'll update you guys later on and don't mind him showing you his butt <laughs> i yet again have messed up really bad so this is the strap i'm currently making and this is where it should be lining up roughly and as you can see, this does not work because I skipped like 20, not 20, like 15 rows. I don't know, something like that. I think I skipped like rows 12 through 20. This is already not working out well for me. So I think I'm going to rip out this entire thing instead of trying to count what row it is that I did wrong on and everything and just to restart but it is 12 25 right now so anyways basically reversing everything i have done for the past almost hour in like 15 minutes it'll be an hour so anyway 
I'll update you guys when it's been an hour, even though my progress will be basically where I started. So it's 12.40, so it's officially been one hour, and I am on row 25 out of like 85 for each of these um, pieces. And like I said, I had to restart because I was messing up a whole bunch, but now it's actually working correctly because I did not skip a bunch of rows like I did before. Okay, so it is now 1.40, which means it is three hours in, which I can't believe it's only three hours because this is all I've gotten done. But anyway, um, let's see what row this is. I believe this is 78, and I have to go to like 86 or something. I don't even know when it's my own pattern. <laughs> But anyway, by the next hour I should be done with this and hopefully have it attached and everything. So I will show you all once it's done and I'll try it on and everything. And then it'll just be weaving in the ends and then on to a new project. I feel like every time I come on here to update, I look a little more crazy and my eyes are a little more like barely open. As you can tell, I can't even think of words correctly. But the top is now finished. I have not tried it on yet. It is 334, but it looks super cute. So I'm about to go try it on in my mirror and everything and make sure everything fits correctly. And if it does, then I'll be weaving in the ends and then moving on to the next project. So I'll probably update you guys when I am trying this on, but first I'm going to move all of my crochet stuff into my bedroom so I can work on the next project in there. Okay, so I'm wearing it and <laughs> there's a lot of um, area here showing in this, so I don't think I want to really put that on YouTube, but I guess that's really close to my face. I'm sorry, I'm like not paying attention, I'm so tired. But, um, I'm just gonna like put my hair to cover some things for the purposes of this video. But I think it's really cute. I'll just show you from like this angle that it's pretty cute. I obviously have some ends that I still need to weave in, but I think it's cute and that's about it but I do really really like it I just need to figure out what sort of um bra situation to wear with it it's gonna be one that's not very easy to figure out because kind of everything is showing <laughs> okay I need to just move on for now so I'm gonna take this off so I can weave in the ends and then that's gonna be it I'm gonna move on to the next project so let's go back into my room and we can weave in the ends that are left and that'll be it for this project and I just want to show you guys how satisfying this is first off this is the amount of yarn I had left so this project literally took exactly one ball like just a little bit of the last ball left so if that's not satisfying, I don't know what else is. I mean, it would be more satisfying if you used exactly all of it, but that's almost impossible. <laughs> but anyway, I, like I said many times, I'm gonna take this off so I can weave in the ends. I'm gonna drink the Coke that I got for energy. <laughs> and, cause I'm not a coffee person, I'm a soda person if I drink caffeine. But that's about it. So I'll update you guys after I've weaved in the ends and I will let you know what project I'm going to start next. And by the way, it is now 2.47. I also forgot to tell you, so I don't know if y'all can see, my watch literally says I've done 31 minutes of activity, which that went off at like 2 a.m. So crocheting is exercise. I just proved it as a fact. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I'm gonna shut this camera off and weave in the ends and everything and then be back to you afterward. There are quite a few ends to weave in because there's like three different panels for this 
and each one has at least two ends plus some like extra stuff I think I don't know I'm losing it but I'm gonna go <laughs> okay so it is now 316 and I have completed the top I have weaved in all of the ends and everything so it is looking good and that is gonna be it for this project for today or at least that you'll see in this video obviously I will edit the pattern and stuff a different time but for right now I'm gonna move on to something else and I think since Halloween is coming up I'm gonna try to make a pattern for a little ghost so I'm gonna get some white yarn and start trying that out and I did just want to say that because a lot of these I'm trying to make my own patterns instead of following someone else's pattern I will not get as many projects done as I would if I was just making stuff off of other people's patterns because obviously with that I'm just following something with making my own I have to redo it a bunch of times to figure out how it looks best and all of that which I'm sure that was kind of obvious but I just wanted to say that in case you didn't know because if you've never made a pattern before you probably don't really realize how much trial and error it actually is but anyway there's that I'm gonna get some white yarn and start working on that and I will update you guys again at 340 because that'll be the next hour mark okay so it is 344 currently there we go you can see that it's 344 so this is what I have so far on the ghost not very much but it's only been like 20 minutes and this yarn keeps getting frayed because this is actually a ball of yarn that I probably should just throw away especially considering I have like two more of these that are fully brand new but I didn't feel like getting the bends down to get the new ones so I'm just using this just thought I'd update you guys on the progress and this won't be much longer and it'll be done because it's just gonna be a little guy so we have the time as 4 40 and I have just now finished this little guy I don't know why this took me a full hour Everything is taking me way longer than it normally would, I swear. Probably because of how tired I am. But he's really small. I didn't even stuff it or anything, actually. You could, and you could put like a base thing. But my idea for this was actually to get a little keychain thing and put it at the top. And I thought it would be cute as a little keychain for Halloween. So that is this little guy done. I may adjust his mouth a little bit, definitely, but for now, I'm done with this project. So, next thing I'm going to be working on is this crochet pattern that I am doing for actually a Lego person. It doesn't look like a Lego person yet because I don't have like the circle thing on top of the head and all of that, but... It will be a Lego person and yeah I gotta do legs and arms and stuff and then the top of the head thing and this will be a Lego person so this will probably take a couple hours I feel like there's not very much progress, but that's kind of the process of crochet patterns because I've had to, you know, redo this a couple times because I'm making the pattern myself to make it look right and everything. But it is 5.42 in the morning and we're just chugging along. Okay, so it's now 6.40 in the morning and here's my progress so still not very much but I'm having a hard time figuring out how I want to do the foot because on like the Lego person the foot just is very boxy and it's kind of hard to do boxy things in crochet 
So I've been struggling a little, going back and forth, taking stitches out, redoing them, all kinds of stuff. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. For now, I'm just going to keep working on it. And earlier, when I went to the bathroom, I took off my makeup as well because I realized I had, like, mascara all down here. I think I rubbed my eyes at some point. And with me yawning a bunch of times and everything, it was not looking good. So, now we're just like this for the rest of the 24 hours. But it feels so much better to have my face clean of that because that was on my face for almost 24 hours. Another hour has gone by and this is what I am working with. So this is like the little flap part. It's going to be the foot at some point. You can see it's just one leg so far. So, not much progress, like I keep saying, because it's kind of difficult to figure out. But, I will keep updating. The main difference now is that I can actually see the sunlight out my window. So, it is actually daytime now. So, now we're just going to get through today and then a lot more hours <laughs> but anyway i think i'm gonna actually start working on the arms for this because i had already started it and i think it'd be kind of an easier part and plus it's probably a good idea to attach the arms while it's still open here so that's what I'm going to work on and then I'll go back to this but I probably won't even get like one arm done by the time I see you guys next time with how slow I'm going and with it being a little bit complicated the arm won't be complicated but the hand will because the hand is shaped like this on a Lego person so anyway I'm going to work on this okay so it is now 902 i missed updating you guys a little while ago but here is what the arm looks like i don't love this so i think i'm gonna redo it but for now i'm gonna get on my phone and on pinterest and look at some patterns and figure out what i want to make next and once i figure that out i will come and update you guys on what i'm going to be making next Okay, so it took me forever to find something that I actually want to make. And I think I've been kind of nodding off as I was sitting here looking for this pattern. So hopefully I can get myself a little more awake again. But I'm going to make some pumpkins. And again, like always, the pattern will be in the description box for you guys. But... I'm going to start on this. So there's not very much progress done to this pumpkin at all. But this is what it's looking like. It will be flipped. Like this I believe. But yeah. Cute so far. I'll update y'all with more. In an hour or so. Yet again. I haven't updated in. I don't know how long even. But it is. 11.58 and I still don't have much more done because I keep taking it out thinking that I'm doing it wrong when I'm actually really not doing it wrong or I only messed up on like one stitch I don't know I'm getting tired and I keep messing with things that I'm not supposed to I think but I'm gonna keep trying Okay, it has been an hour again. Yet again, not much progress. I just cannot get motivated. I'll be like working on it and then I'll just be like staring at it and doing nothing. So I don't know, it's the sleep deprivation, I'm pretty sure. Hello again. So it is now 3.40 and I have not updated in forever i'm sorry i've been so bad about updating i've been going back and forth between trying to do this pumpkin and trying to find another pattern and restarting 
I'm all over the place. So for now I'm gonna abandon this pumpkin because I'm not very inspired to make it, to be honest with you. Instead, I'm going to be working on another pattern that I wanna make. So I just stood up so I can show you. I got this really big wooden dowel and I wanna make a huge wall hanging for this. So I'm gonna be starting a giant wall hanging with this dowel and some white yarn and hopefully that's something that I'm more inspired to make. And again, that's a pattern that I'll be creating myself, so it'll probably take a long time. But I'm actually gonna brush my hair because I've been laying in my bed the whole time and I look crazy and maybe change as well. So I feel a little bit more motivated, I think. Hopefully that works at least. But anyway, I will talk to you guys whenever there's something to update you on. Okay, so it's 4.22, which is a little earlier than normally I would update, but it is starting to rain. And just in case it rains harder, I wanted to update now because it's hard to hear whenever it's raining super hard. So I'm sorry if you can hear the rain, but you know, this is a part of the 24 hours. So I figured I would just update y'all on what is going on. So I have my giant wooden dowel here and I have a very long row of double crochets and I started a row with double crochets and a puff stitch. So that's what I'll be doing. And this will look like this and it'll kind of be like a triangle shape going down. So it's definitely a huge project, probably another one that I'm just starting in this video and won't be finishing because it's a lot of work. Also, every time I see myself, I feel like I look more crazy than I did before, but I am feeling more energetic now. There's been a couple times I have fallen asleep. Luckily, I've set timers for every hour when I'm supposed to update. So I'll wake up to those timers after like five minutes, but there's been a couple times where I'm sitting here crocheting and I just nod off. So I think that has actually helped me feel a little more energetic, but I am not doing that on purpose, I promise you that. But minus those times of being asleep, it is like hour 30 something of me being awake. So that is fun because at 9 o'clock this morning it was 24 hours of being awake besides the nap that I took before I started this challenge. Anyway, I always ramble so much when I come on here to update y'all. I need to just um, continue working on this for a little while and maybe start something different. Maybe continue. We'll see. But my parents are ordering food right now so I will take my dinner break once the food is here. So I don't know if you can tell, but my middle finger right here, as I'm crocheting, I always hit like the corner of this finger and it's starting to like blister. Which happens whenever I spend like a whole day crocheting normally. So I'm honestly surprised that it took this long to happen. And I just realized that I'm flicking you guys off, not trying to. <laughs> but yeah, especially when I get in the groove of crocheting, it hits like right here. And it can make like a callus sometimes. That's about it for what's currently happening. I am going to just continue on this and shut off the camera so I don't kill the battery. And yet again, I look crazy. But um, it's been a little bit of time. I took like a 30 minute break to go eat. So now I'm just going to continue this. And it is 5.47, which means about 6 hours until 11.40 when I can stop the 24 hours and go straight to sleep. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to continue on 
with the project I'm currently doing and I'll update you when I either change the project I'm doing or when it has been another hour. Okay, so it is now 6.40 and I'm on my third row for this. It's very long, so it's taking a while, but um, yeah, I'm about halfway, a little bit more than halfway through this row. And after this, I think I'm going to start a different project. Also, on the countdown, I told y'all at 5.40, it was six hours, so that means it is now five hours left. I will be happy to be done with this. As much as I love crocheting, crocheting for this long is a problem because I am tired and my hands are... <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I'll update y'all when I either start a new project or when it's been an hour. Like I say, every single time I record a clip, that's when I'll update you. <laughs> oh my god. It's literally like two minutes after I just recorded the last clip. And we lost power, so you are seeing me through my phone flashlight, but this is something I did not anticipate. I'm gonna try to keep crocheting, but no guarantees that I'll be able to see very well in the dark. Oh goodness. I have a light thingy now. Um, figured I would update y'all. So, it's only been a couple minutes since I filmed the last clip, but my mom, you know, did like the call in to the electric company so they know that the power's out here. And the recording said hopefully by 10 and it's 7 o'clock now. So, there's that. I have this light now so I can still film for you guys because I'm not quitting these 24 hours with only 5 hours left. And I'm just going to continue to work on the same project. I don't think it'll be a great idea to start a new project while I can barely really see. That is the update. Also, I'm going to show you really quick how much um, of a mess everything is now that I've been in here for like way too long. So if you can really see, probably not. Let me put the light like here. So here's my bed where I have been laying. Here's the project that I'm currently working on. There's the Lego person project. Here's the pumpkin project. Um, I have a bunch of drinks there that I've been drinking. My bag of... <gasps> Yay! Okay, that was not long at all. That's good. And I caught that on camera, the power coming back on. But I was just showing you how messy everything is, really, since I've been staying in the same area for all of today. But anyway, um, I'm now going to continue crocheting. So it's now 7.40, and I'm still... Just working on this trying to figure out how I want it to decrease to make like a triangle shape so that's what is currently going on okay so it is now 8 50 and I will show you guys my progress here let me flip the camera I'm on the fourth row and that's the second row with the bubble stitches so it's looking pretty good and you can see it's gonna decrease downward like this to make a triangle shape and it is very large so it's gonna be a very big project this probably won't be coming out for like a couple of months if I had to guess because of how large of a project this is gonna be but anyway that's my update for now I'm getting really tired of this project because it's getting really repetitive so I think I'm gonna switch to something else which I'm not exactly sure what that something else is yet so I am going to look through Pinterest and try to find something so I keep finding really cute ones that I would like to make at some point but they all seem very difficult for my brain to comprehend currently 
So I'm just trying to do one that's sort of easy. So this is the one that I've chosen. There we go. That is what it looks like. It is a yarn inspirations pattern. And like I said earlier, anything that I am using, I will link in the description box. So hooks, yarn, patterns, all of that, I'll list out in the description box and put links to. But yeah, that's what I'm going to start now once I get up and find some yarn that I would like to use for that. That is what I'm going to make. So this is the yarn that I've chosen. And I... Honestly, I cannot remember what type of yarn it is. I know that I have the label for it somewhere, and I also have another ball that has the label still on it. It's just in one of those bins up there, and I currently don't feel like getting it down. But I will put it in the description box, like I keep saying with everything, but it'll be the color name and the brand and everything. So anyway, I'm going to start on this top now okay so don't mind the outfit change i have the top on that i made earlier in the video just because i wanted to change i really don't know why but i'm not very far in this top yet but it is 9:44, so we got about two hours left so i'm sure i can make some good progress by then but this is actually quite a bit harder then I thought I should have paid attention to the fact that the pattern said intermediate level. It is now 10.03 and I just realized that I did all of these stitches wrong. Now I'm going to take that out and start over for this row. Which, starting this row is where I left you last time pretty much. So, past like 20 minutes, it's just a waste of time because I did it wrong. Okay, so I am... On row three of this and to be honest with you it's really tedious and I feel like I'm going cross-eyed trying to work on it so I'm gonna go back to the wall hanging project since this is kind of simple and that will be what I do for probably the last hour <coughs> that's it I'm done oh my god Okay, y'all. It is 10:40. I just said 10:40. 11:40, which means I'm done because I started at 11:40 yesterday. So, oh my goodness, that felt like the longest 24 hours of my life. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my thoughts and feelings now that the 24 hours are over. So first off, I am absolutely exhausted if it wasn't obvious enough but i really should have done this challenge to where i got a full night's sleep as soon as i woke up started it and then i think i would have been a little bit more better off but instead i had today is tuesday on monday morning i woke up at 9 a.m went about my day and then i started the challenge at 11:40 that night and ended it at 11:40 today tuesday and i regret that decision because now i am super tired and technically it's like hour 36 or 40 i can't count whatever basically nine one day to midnight the next would be um Besides the nap that I took right before I started the challenge and the couple of times that I was like doing this <laughs> as I was crocheting. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't recommend this. I would stick to just crocheting for a couple of hours max and taking a break. And that's what I will be doing from now on because my fingers hurt very badly. I'm right-handed, but my left hand hurts more because whenever I'm crocheting, the way I hold the hook, it actually hits on this side of my middle finger. And then I also wrap the yarn around this finger. So at some points when I hadn't taken a break or like stretched my hands or anything, 
this finger was cramping up and this finger was hurting still is hurts to touch it because i think it's callousing so definitely don't recommend this unless you are crazy like i am and positives are i did get a lot of projects done that i wouldn't have done before or started but i feel like because i was so tired i was starting projects getting bored really easily switching to new projects not finishing projects that i had originally planned on working on all of that kind of stuff so it was very chaotic and i do apologize about that but that's basically everything i can think of as of right now as far as like a recap of the 24 hours so yeah i'm just gonna leave it here but if you guys do want to see more craft crochet or business videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video if you have any other video ideas that you think would be fun for me to do you can leave them in the comments down below also make sure you check the comments down below to answer my question of the day i definitely will not be doing this challenge again but if you guys do you want to see more from me you can check out more videos of mine my blog my social medias my podcast and my etsy shop all of that is always included in the description box down below and with all of that thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one i am going straight to bed now well after i clean up all projects off my bed but anyway thanks again for watching and goodbye